The degree of taste, scent, and color of the solution depend on the concentration of solution. If the solution is dilute, it has mild taste, mild scent, and light color. However, if the solution is concentrated, it has strong taste, strong scent, and dark color. Concentration of solution can be expressed in percent by volume and percent by mass. Percent by volume is the amount of solute in a given volume of solution, while the percent by mass is the amount of solute in a given mass of solution. Percent by volume or by mass is a ratio of solute per solution because percent means parts per hundred. Percent by volume is the volume of solute in 100 volumes of solution. For example, 2 volume of solute plus 98 volume of solvent equals 100 volume of solution. The amount of solute here is 2 volume. So it means that the concentration of solution is 2%. Thus, in every 100 volume of solution, there is 2 volume of solute. Or, in 100% solution, there is 2% solute. Therefore, the concentration of solution is 2%. Percent by mass is the mass of solute in 100 mass units of solution. For example, 2 mass of solute plus 98 mass of solvent equals 100 mass of solution. The amount of solute is 2 mass. So, the concentration of solution is 2%. Thus, in every 100 mass of solution, there is 2 mass of solute or, in 100% solution, there is 2% solute. Therefore, the concentration of solution is 2%. Another example under percent by volume is 5 ml of acetic acid plus 95 ml of water equals 100 ml of vinegar. Since the volume of solute is 5 ml, therefore, the concentration of solution is 5%. The example for percent by mass is 2 grams of carbon plus 98 grams of iron equals 100 grams of steel bar. Since the mass of solute is 2 grams, therefore, the concentration of solution is 2%. It is easy to determine the percentage of concentration when the solution is exact 100 ml or 100 grams. But what if the volume or the mass of the solution is lower or higher than 100 ml or grams? How can we determine the percentage of solution? For instance, isopropyl plus water equals isopropyl alcohol. This isopropyl alcohol has a volume of 500 ml, wherein 350 ml is a solute. In order for us to determine the concentration of solution, we will use this formula. The concentration of solution equals the volume of solute divided by the volume of solution times 100% or C equals V solute divided by V solution times 100%. To make it easier, just remember that the solute is the dividend and the solution is the divisor times 100%. Now, 
Let us compute the concentration of solution. First, write the volume of solution, which is 500 ml, and the volume of solute, which is 350 ml. We are going to find the concentration of solution. The formula is C equals V solute divided by V solution times 100%. Substitute the value of V solute and the value of V solution. V solute is 350 ml and V solution is 500 ml times 100%. Now, let us proceed to the operations. 350 ml divided by 500 ml. Cancel the ml equals 0.7. 0 0.7 times 100% equals 70%. Therefore, the percentage of isopropyl or the concentration of solution is 70%. Now, let us talk about the example under percent by mass. Copper plus tin equals bronze. This Olympic bronze medal has a total mass of 493 grams, wherein 59 grams is 18 solutes. The formula that we are going to use is the same as earlier. The only difference is we are going to replace the volume by mass. The formula is the concentration of solution equals the mass of solute divided by the mass of solution times 100% or C equals M solute divided by M solution times 100%. Let us use this formula. Place the value of M solute and the value of M solution. It will be 59 grams divided by 493 grams times 100%. 59 grams divided by 493 grams. Cancel the grams equals 1196 10,000. 1196 10,000 times 100% equals 11.9600% or round off 12%. Therefore, the percentage of tin or the concentration of solution is 12%. Here are some solution in which you can directly see the percentage of solute or the concentration of solution. Jewelry, 18 carats gold. It is not pure gold because pure gold is 24 carats. It contains 24 grams of gold. This 18 carats jewelry contains 18 grams of gold and the remaining 6 grams are the other metals such as copper and silver. 18 grams plus 6 grams equals 24 grams. Let us identify the difference between pure gold and 18 carats gold. Here is a pure gold jewelry with 24 grams of gold. Its color is yellow. Here is 18 grams of gold with copper. It is formed when 18 grams of gold mix with 6 grams of copper. Its color is reddish yellow. Another type of 18 carats gold is 18 grams of gold with silver. It is a combination of 18 grams of gold and 6 grams of silver. Its color is light yellow. So again, 24 carats is 100% gold. 18 carats is 75% gold. 14 carats is 58.3% gold. And 10 carats is 41.7% gold. Let us move on to another product. Seasoning. Apple cider vinegar with 5% acidity. Drinks. Novellino, 
with 7.5% alcohol. Tanduai Ice with 6% alcohol. Disinfectant. Avil alcohol with 70% alcohol. Cosmetics. The Ordinary with 2% salicylic acid.